Every year, thousands of children are poisoned by common household products. As consumer specialist Nancy Rogers reports, many of those accidents wouldn't happen if homes were properly child-proofed. Here's today's tip for living. Can you tell the difference? Which is the candy and which is the medicine? What's that? All right. What is that, candy or medicine? Candy. No, it's not. It's 400 milligrams of an arthritis medication. To a curious two-year-old, it looks like the candy in my other hand. Childproof safety lids resulting from the Poison Prevention Packaging Act keep kids from confusing the two. Uh, the first regulation was for aspirin, and that one was started in 1972. Last one was in 1980, and that was for acetaminophen. Uh, since that time, from 1972 to 78, there's been a 60, around a 60 percent drop in the deaths from the regulated product products. By law, only 80 percent of children under five must be unable to open a child-resistant container. So, to protect your children, don't depend on packaging alone. Make cabinets hard to get into. Plug up outlets and store harmful products up high. It's even hard to do that because they will climb. So what you really need to do is lock them up. Put them in a one cabinet that's sort of reserved for that and have a lock on it. If your child still gets to a harmful substance, call the Indiana Poison Center first thing. Tonight on New Center 13 Update, the mistakes parents make when their children ingest poisons. Nancy Rogers, New Center 13 Consumer Specialist.